Okay, for this talk, um, we're going to go over cones, conic sections is what it's called. And so this one will be on cones, and the next one will be on conoids. So a conoid has a lot of qualities of cones, but they're, they're not quite the same. So they're kind of like cones, but they're not exactly like a cone. So we all kind of know what a cone is, right? So a cone is kind of pointy at the top and round at the bottom. And it's, if we cut it across um, perpendicular to its um, long axis, we'll always get a circle, right? So if we make a cut here along this blue line, we will get a circle of a certain diameter. If we make a cut across this green line, then we'll get a circle of a bigger diameter. If we cut a cross section across this black line, we will get a smaller diameter circle. And I'm running out of color, so we're going to do this blue line again. If we do it at the very, very tip, the very, very tip of the cone, then the cross section of that will be a point. So depending on where we cut, then we will determine the diameter of the circle that gets created. Okay, now if we cut it off axis, right, so all of those circles that I just talked about were all because the cuts were perpendicular to the axis of the cone. Okay, but let's look at a different situation and let's look at this cone here. And this kind of goes back to like middle school science, if you remember that. So if we cut this way, not perpendicular to the axis of the cone, then what we end up with is an ellipse instead of a circle. Okay? Um, and then there's other things, like if you cut um, this way, then you end up with a parabola and all this stuff. So anyone who remembers kind of what they learned in, in um, middle school science can remember a lot of this stuff. Now, there's one other piece to this, um, which is important for what we're gonna be talking about in subsequent um, presentations, and that is this. If we, um, if we're talking about light, and remember light rays, you know, they, they, they go, they don't stop, they just go until they hit a wall or something. So when we're talking about cones, this is really what we get. We get these two cones that are tip to tip. So when we talk about conic sections, this is really what the picture is. And where these two cones meet, then the cross section of that is a point. And then if we cut a cross section here, we get a circle of a certain size. And if we cut a cross section here, we get a circle of the same size. And as we go out farther and farther and farther from the point, we just keep getting circles of larger and larger and larger diameters. So when we talk about conic sections, we don't have a single cone like this. We're always talking about two cones that are tip to tip like this, okay? So that's a pretty quick talk, but that is the presentation on cones or conic sections. Next, we'll talk about conoids. Thanks.